speaking about Rebbe Fall, the first thing that comes to mind is his Gadlus and Tyran, his Goinus and Tyran. People were always coming over, asking Shilas. In the Mesechta, out of the Mesechta, Kol Hashas, Kipshuta. When you spoke to him in learning, you felt like you were back in the mirror in Poland. His style, his sharpness, his depth, his language, everything about him. Rebbe Fall epitomized the legacy of Mir Yeshiva in unending hasmoda, unlimited amul, the search for truth in the sugya, vast yediya satera. Rabbi Rufal, the Torah was his life. The Torah was his life. That was his essence. If he had a kasha, you saw on his face that the kasha bothered him. It bothered him. To them gnomen, and that was going amul v'yegiya, till he came up with terutzin, till he came up with tyrant. His entire life was creating a base medrash in any circumstance that he was in. He would go to a chastana and he would begin talking and learning to the father of the chasan before the chuppah. And the chuppah would wait. The, the chasan would become a base of medrash. It's Kaseida being mechanech. Kaseida you would hear from him. That's not how to ask the kasha. That's not how to say it. That's not a svara. That's yes yeah, svara. Nachrayis, of being mechanech, the next door. He felt that it was his achrayis, his his life's calling to be a rebbe, and on that, and in being so, he he wanted his talmidim to to know how to approach a gemara. He would literally sit you down and say, "Let me explain to you why you're wrong," and if you didn't accept it, he he'd start yelling, and and you saw that he lived it. You saw that. He, he really wanted you to understand it. He really wanted you to hear his kasha. He drew everyone around him into it. There was no escaping the way, the warmth and the love with which he would pull people deliberately into his own internal universe of Teisvis. All of them, anyway. When he came to learning, he was fire. He was koching and with the but when he spoke to him, Emile Dalma, if he came to be meyayitz with him, spoke to him, he was with the just neimus, so calm, he was so soft. He was rigid in his position in the sugi. He would never budge if he felt that that was emes. And the second later, to be soft like butter, and crying with somebody's tzaras, and that comes from the Adam Hasholim who has self-control over himself in all areas. That's the tzura of an emes atamot chacham. He knew the tchunas anefesh, every child, every grandchild, where they were holding. It was something that he invested time and energy in. The Amir Yishev is a malchus, and in that sense he is certainly a prince. He was a, a balmidus, obedient, good-hearted, sensitive. Although Rebbe Fall was shavak haim l'chalchai, he's no longer with us, but his dmus diyuknai stands in front of us, his tzura, is in front of us, his Talmidim, that we shall help him, that we should be able to be Mamshech Darkai, Mamshech what he stood for, in Torah, in Midas, and all in Yonah.